this message goes out to Anthony Anderson and the cast of Blackish and everybody involved in Blackish and my own personal story with Blackish. So, uh, when Blackish first had their trailer and I saw the trailer for Blackish, I literally was so excited. I started bawling and crying because of the social impact of having a black family, uh, an upscale black family on television and their communication, their dialogue, and just everything. And just the characters. I just fell in love with every single one of the characters right from the get-go in the trailer. Then I was selling some art at uh, a flea market. One of my characters is right there. You see him. And I was scanning. I had scanned some Zohar. Again, the power of the Zohar. So amazing. Every, it just outstands me. I'm scanning some Zohar. And a man walks up and he starts buying a bunch of prints. And I ask him, I go, and he asked me, we start chatting, and he asked me, he goes, would you be interested in having your stuff on a television show? And I asked him, I go, what's the name of the show? And he goes, it's Blackish. And my heart literally jumped to my throat, and I was like, <laughs> like, I, like, you know how when you press those dolls and they come up like, ah, because, uh, now I, don't know if I haven't heard back from them, uh, so I don't know whether my art is too like there, like too, like what is that? I think that's the problem with my stuff. Is it's like what is it? It draws you away from what's going on. So I I actually wouldn't recommend it for Blackest, but I would recommend ABC to call me about a kids cartoon show. But that's a whole different story. Uh, so, uh, back to Blackish. So. Blackish has become one of the staples in my life. It has become an amazing, amazing show that just resonates for so many different people. And hearing that Anthony Anderson, I'm not quite sure. I think Blackish got nominated for Best Comedy, I think. But I definitely know that Anthony Anderson got nominated. It, it leaves me speechless. It leaves me speechless because I think about the I've been thinking about police brutality and I think about what's happening in our country and our sense of tension that we're happening. And I think about that one particular episode where uh, Blackish addressed police brutality and addressed systematic racism. And they did it so powerfully and so well. And it starts off with everybody sitting around as a family together and having the discussion. And it draws us in. It draws us in because I think a lot of times people say, well, you know, that's happening to them. You know, there's people out there who that's their logic, that that's something that's happening to someone else, that it's not happening to me. But when you place, when Blackish opens up the show with everybody in the family watching the television set and seeing what is unfolding in regards to police brutality and racism, it really opens up like the doorways for all families to come into the doorway and say this isn't just you this is all of america that we are all hurting because of this and that was a really powerful moment so i wouldn't be surprised if blackish won an emmy just for that moment alone um like i said if you haven't seen blackish it's one of the most iconic shows on television right now just because of its sense of drama its sense of comedy its sense of writing it's just it's pop, pop, knocking them out of the park with every guest star, guest host, moral, idea, uh, the theme of the story. It just, everything is coming together so beautifully, so beautifully. It makes me want to do some stand-up comedy, so maybe I can, I myself can have a guest spot on Blackish. Oh! That'd be awesome, right? Uh, I would, I don't know, I think that I would just, I would, I would need <laughs> smelling salts all the time because <laughs> I'd be fading. <laughs> I, I'm a blackish. Because <laughs> someone wave me up. Uh, do you love blackish as much as I love blackish? Thank you, and I wish you a wonderful year. Take care.